So when I'm actually coaching, we're de developing these plans before we actually start to do the work of actually taking those actions and create and creating the discomfort, saying in that moment, acknowledge it when you get uncomfortable. Acknowledge it and say thank you. Hmm. Whatever that thank you is, of uh, I'm beating myself up because I was fearful of what I was going to say from a communication standpoint. Yeah. Or my environment or people are trying to put me in a box that I've always played, but that's not the box I want to be in. So now I'm reacting in an angry place. Or I'm finding conflict with my coworkers because of what their strategy impacts my strategy. Or I'm afraid of the judgment. It's catching ourselves and being present and saying thank you, just by yourself. And as the conversation and context evolves, changing our language, changing our thought processes. And if in that moment we can't do that, even excusing ourselves, because there's nothing wrong with that. It's just taking a moment yeah, and putting ourselves on pause and not getting caught in that reaction. In that, from a planning standpoint, we can better emotionally and behaviorally better respond than react to situations that come up when they pressure us to get us back into the box that we're not trying to play in. Yeah, I like how you said kind of respond versus react. And I also, well, my, my takeaway from what you just said there was, you know, those strong emotions can, can prob not always, but a lot of times indicate that it's an old narrative or it's, it's other things that are coming yeah. to play. You know, um, because you're, you're feeling angry or afraid or whatever mm -hmm. happens to be, something's getting triggered there. And yeah. rather than letting it take over and grab the steering wheel, just pause, acknowledge, th thank them for being a, um, you know, uh, on the journey with you, but keep them in the passenger seat, not right. the driver's seat. I think that's, I think that's great.